So this question is based on the cubes. Okay. So before we analyze the question, let's discuss few theories or few concepts based on cubes so that after that we can easily solve this question. So let's say you have a cube here. So cube means they have equal length, width and the height. Let's say this is the cube you have. I'm cutting this into smaller cubes. Okay. So let's say I'm cutting on each edge. I'm cutting into two parts. Let's say I'm cutting like this. So each edge you are cutting into two sections. So let's say this is the cut I'm making. And also similarly along the width also I'm cutting into two parts. So I can say this is the cut you are making here. Also along the height I'm cutting into two parts. So each edge you are cutting into two parts. So total along the length you are cutting into two parts. Width also two parts. Height also two parts. So total number of cube is going to be cubes you got here is going to be two cube or I can say eight. So you can count this, right? So it's one, two, three, four. Again, on the bottom, you have four cubes. So total, you have eight cubes. Let's take another example. Let's say you have a bigger cube like this. Okay. And each edge, I'm dividing into three sections. So let's say one, two, right? I'm cutting like this. Okay? Each edge, it's three sections. One, two, three. So can you tell me how many cubes you will get after cutting the cutting at the space so along the width also i'm cutting into two sections so you're getting in total three here one two three similarly along the height i'm cutting here right see so total number of cube is gonna be see each edge you have you are getting three sections right so it's gonna be three times three times three or i can say 3 cube or 27 cubes are there. You can count, right? Every row you have 9. See, in the first row you have 9 cubes. Second 9, third 9. So that's how you're getting 27 cubes. So now let's generalize it. So number of sections you get along each edge if it is n. If number of sections you get along each edge or it's n. So total number of cubes you form or if the total number of cubes you will get is equal to be n times n times n, which is equal to n cube. So here you can see, see one, two, three sections here. So the value of n is equal to three here. So total number of cubes you are getting is n cube, which is equal to three cube. So now let's take another example. Let's say you have a, a bigger cube here. I'm dividing each edge i'm dividing into four sections see one two three four sections along each edge so total number of cubes you will get after cutting here is gonna be four times four times four which is equal to four cube or 64 cubes can you can form it. clear and based on the 64 cubes you get you might get some questions based on that okay so if you're asked to find out of the 64 cubes you got, number of cubes, out of 64, how many cubes are there with three surfaces visible to us? See, I'm cutting like this. See, one, two, three, four. Similarly, here also I'm cutting into like this. One, two, three, four, right? And also you can cut like this, see? So total... 64 cubes are there. It's not exact, but it's a rough figure. Okay, so out of the 64, my question is how many cubes are there with three faces or three surfaces visible to us? So, can you try it out and tell me how many uh, cubes are there with three surfaces visible? It's always fixed, it's going to be eight always. Can you identify which of them are these eight cubes? All the cubes at the corner, see. This one is having three faces visible to us. Three. Also, you have this one here. This one in the corner. This one in the corner. See, these are the four ones. And also in the bottom row, you have four of them. One here, one here, and one here. Also one on the other side, which we are not able to see. So total always, it's eight, it's fixed. So any cube, if you're dividing into smaller cubes, the total number of cubes with three faces visible is going to be eight. 
Now you might get a question like this, okay? How many cubes are there? The number of cubes with two phase visible. Two phase visible to us. So you can always form an equation because it's not a good idea to count, right? If there are 64 cubes here, it's not a practical idea to count it. Or if there are 124 or more uh, cubes you're getting, it's not a practical idea to count it. So you can always use this uh, equation. That is, number of cubes with two phases visible is going to be n minus 2 times 12. Always keep that in mind. So here in this case, n is the number of sections you are getting along each edge. So here in this case, number of sections you are getting is 1, 2, 3, 4. n is equal to 4 in this example. So number of cubes with two phases visible is equal to your substitute value of n here, which is 4 minus 2 times 12, which is 2 times 12, 24 cubes are there with two phases visible. Also, let's say number of cubes with one phase visible to us. Only one phase visible out of the 64. How many of them are with one phase visible? You can always use the another equation. It's going to be n minus 2, the same numbers, n minus 2. Here, you need to square it. 12, you need to take a half times 6. So, this will give you the number of cubes with one phase visible. You just need to substitute the value of n is equal to 4 in this case. Here, it's n is equal to 4. And also, you can find number of cubes with zero phase visible. Zero phase visible to us. Or, how many of them are invisible to us? We cannot see from our view which are hidden okay number of cubes which are hidden inside is going to be equal to n minus 2 the whole cube you can see a pattern right first one is n minus 2 here is n minus 2 square this is n minus 2 cube you can remember that so here we can say n is equal to 4 so you have 4 minus 2 the whole cube which is equal to 2 cube that is equal to 8 so out of in this example 8 cubes are invisible to us that means 8 cubes, 0 face is visible to us. Okay, that is invisible. We cannot see them. It's inside these cubes. Okay, there are total 8 cubes. So, you can always use this formula to find out when you are asked these type of questions. So, basically, you need to know the value of n. Then only you can find how many cubes are there with 2 faces visible, 1 face visible, 0 face visible. So always remember, 3 face visible, this is a fixed value. In all cases, it's going to be 8. It's not going to change. But other scenarios, it all depends on the value of n. Now, I'm going to apply this concept in this question here. So, there are total 125 identical cubes are arranged to form a bigger cube, which is similar to a bigger cube is divided or cut into smaller cubes. Right? 125 smaller cubes. I'm cutting like this. Total you are getting 125 smaller cubes. How many cubes are surrounded by other cubes from each side? That means what we need to do is I need to find how many cubes are invisible with zero faces visible. Zero faces visible to us. That's what we need to find. So for that I need to find the value of n. If you got the value of n, your answer is going to be n minus 2 the whole cube will give you the answer. So, can you find the value of n? Yes, you can, right? Because the total number of cubes you got is 125. That means n is the number of sections you get along each edge, right? This is n. So, 125 is nothing but n times n times n is equal to 125. Or I can say n cube is equal to 125. Can you get the value of n? n is equal to 5. So, there are 5 cubes along each edge. So, that's how you're getting total 125 cubes. So, out of this, how many cubes are there with 0 phase visible? You just need to substitute the value of n is equal to 5 here. So, your answer is 5 minus 2 the whole cube, which is equal to 3 cube. 3 cube is nothing but 27. So, your answer is option A. So, you can always use these equations in these cube-based questions. Because that will save a lot of time and a lot of effort.